you, Susan Blackwell. And today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway Minnesota. Oh. And look, everybody from the prom, it's Christopher Sieber. Hi, Susan. Hi. Tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. We are at the House of Brews on West 51st Street, and we <laughs> they gave Susan a very large beer this morning. I just took a tiniest little sip of this, and I'm already a little cooked. I'm gonna, yeah, cheers, cheers. You're having a sensible ginger ale. I'm having a sensible ginger ale. You got a show to do. I got a show to do. Oh, I got a show to do. This is the only show I got to do. Shut up. Yeah, leave me alone. You don't know me. Get off my back. I got a secret. I got to tell you a secret. Let's go swimming. This song is about me. Yes. All right, there we go. One seven day. a little break. Yes. Oh, now we need more money. Let's kick it off okay. right now with yep. a little game I like to play called 30 Second Life Story. Holy I'm going to put 30 seconds. Don't settle down. Okay. I'm going to put 30 seconds 30 on the second. clock. Okay. You're going to tell me your whole life story. Don't leave out the awesome parts okay. starting now. I was born in St. Paul, Minnesota at St. John's Hospital. I moved to Wyoming, Minnesota, the smallest town, and I used to put on shows in my parents' living room, oh. and it was called the Christopher Sieber Comedy Cavalcade in 1976, and I made my younger brother Mark play the stage, stage manager, and I lip synced the records, and people driving by didn't know that they were my audience. And then I moved to Broadway, and I got two Tony nominations. How about that? You have 10 seconds oh, left. Oh, well, then, and then I, got, then I got to the prom, and now that's our big, huge Broadway smash hit. And uh, I, 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 I'm, yes. Super bonus. What Super is the name of that autobiography? My autobiography? Yes. Minnesota Boy Does Well. That's good, but I would also go for the Christopher Sieber Comedy, Comedy Cavalcade, Cavalcade in 1976? Yes. It was great. It was a great show. And I mean, it only lasted about four minutes, but it was amazing. <laughs> What the what is it like starring in the prom on Broadway? Oh, starring on the prom on Broadway. That's an amazing group of people. It really is, and, and it's it. We have been working on this thing for seven years. Do you laugh a lot? Oh, over we there? laugh constantly, constantly. We giggle on stage constantly, and that's a good sign. We will be in the wings watching our friend kick it out of the ballpark. I mean, it's it's so terrific, and we still do it. And we've been we've been kick working on this show for seven ballpark. years. Kicking it out of the ballpark. Kicking it out of the ballpark. That is a. Uh, uh, a kickball reference. A super athletic a kickball. reference. Yes, kickball, kickball for the uh, athletic nerd. I understand that as a child you mm -hmm. had a magical portal to Funky Town. Oh my what god, the who what? told you that? I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, again, my younger brother Mark, my older brother Mike and I, we tortured our younger brother Mark. We said, hey Mark, is that song Funky Town? And we said, hey Mark, you want to go to Funky Town? You want to go to Funky Town? He's like, yeah, I want to go to Funky Town. This is so embarrassing. Oh my God. And so um, I said, <laughs> open up the trunk. I said, get in. That's where Funky Town is. And just before we were going to close the lid and lock him, he went, wait a minute. And he, <laughs> wait a minute. Record scratch. I don't think, yeah, <laughs> I don't think this is Funky Town. I was like, God, curses, curses. What the what is the deal with you making your car a convertible? Oh. As a young gay kid in Minnesota, um, I always dreamed of having a convertible because, you know, one should have a convertible. And I had a 1976 Mustang II that I bought for about 150 bucks back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, you could no. actually buy a car for that much. And um, had black interior. And one day, uh, my friend Brad Fritz and I <laughs> decided, let's make a convertible. He said, how? I was like, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So we took a skill saw turned the blades backwards and literally, as my parents were away. Christopher Marie yeah, in the, in, Sieber. Mm -hmm, in, in the garage, in my garage, and all of a sudden you hear this, it's so loud, it sparks are flying everything. I literally cut cut the roof off of the car. Brad this and I grabbed it. This the thing I've ever oh, heard. We grabbed the roof and we just threw it in the lawn. We jumped in the car and took off. And my dad was so mad at me and then he kind of went, well, can I have a ride? And so we went cruising and he was like, <laughs> arms up in the air going, whoa! What the what is a pink lady? Oh my God. So the Spirit of New York was a New York Harbor cruise ship that left from about the Wall Street area yep, down sure. there. Um, we had um, lunch cruises and sometimes people would come and order drinks that they had heard of but never actually had. Well, this one lady, one, I guess she had, she wanted to impress her friends and she said, uh, what will you have? She said. I would like a pink lady. I'm like, huh, uh, never really heard of that. What's in that? What's in it? And she said, grenadine, 
gin and milk. <laughs> I said, are you sure? She said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I am sure. And I set the pink lady down for she, she was, mm. Kind of like showing, yeah, pink lady. I, I drink a lot, so I know, you know. And she went like that. <sighs> so good. The first song I ever remember singing when I was little was, Looks like we made it, left each <laughs> other on the way to another love. How old were you? Probably eight. The first album I ever bought with my own money oh was boy. In Song. In Song. <laughs> oh, let me see. <clears throat> Can you do a disco beat for me? How, how does a disco beat go? Disco Star Wars. My current go-to audition song is. And in this twisted face, there's not the slightest trace of anything that even hints at. Kindness and from my tortured shade, more, 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 more. no comfort, no escape. Do, 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 do. I see, but deep within is utter blindness. The prom earworm that is driving you out of your mind is the ladies improving, so don't give up hope. Just on a loop. Oh, it's Beth Level. On a loop. It's Beth Level. On a loop. On a loop. Yeah, it, it, Hi, Beth Level. Hi, Beth Level. The name of the game is Zombie Apocalypse. Zombie Apocalypse. A zombie apocalypse has swept Midtown Manhattan. Thank you God. have been stricken. Which Broadway brain or brains would you most like to feast upon? Maybe Mark Rylance, because he's so good. Wow. He's so good. That's I a mean, classy everything, answer. Everything, everything he she does. She said, chewing on a fried yeah, pickle. There you go. That's, that's oh, really God, classy. And musically, I would go with um, my dear friend David Hyde Pierce. Oh, I good would choice. because you know what? Mm. If you haven't met Nummy David, num he. Numbers. If you haven't met David, or if you don't know him, hi David. Hello, David. Your brain he is, is going to be honestly. Mm. It was so good. It's going to be so good. David is like the nicest, best, most generous, sweet, talented, incredible guy, and I. And that brain just poached. Oh God! Just like, oh, just a little cream sauce uh, on it. Oh, a little capers, maybe. Just some grenadine. Mm, yeah, why not? Some a little milk bit of milk and gin. And just a, a big, just silly the, uh, straw. And just like, mm, stir. I'm going to make so myself good. throw up again. <laughs> Hi, David. Is this interview oh. so gross? This is a lightning round. Okay. Ready? Lightning round. God or no God? No. What happens when you die? <laughs> Dust. Would, would you rather visit the past or the future? Oh. The past. When in the past? Two weeks ago. <laughs> Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, or Tony? Tony. Every single time. And lastly, cake or pie? Pie. Pie. I just poured this in your lap, <laughs> you asshole. And it's at the holidays? She's, How dare no, she's you? She's getting a little belligerent now. She's had a little beer. I've had a. Listen, you. I had this many I don't millimeters. Like your name. Pie. <laughs> oh, this. I am going to throw up on you. Pie. <laughs> Guess what time it is? What time is it? <gasps> it's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. Oh I've got God. your nose okay. and you can have it back, but first you have to sing me a song. Okay. Any song of your choosing. Time after time, I tell myself that I'm so lucky to be loving you. So lucky to be the one you run to see in the evening. When the day This has is been through. another amazing episode of Side by Side I by Susan Blackwell featuring Christopher Sieber. Go the see him in the prom. You will not show. regret it. You've kept my love so young, so new. And time after time, you'll hear me say that I'm so lucky to be loving you. Got my nose back. Got my nose back. <laughs> <laughs>
was younger, I could eat a Big Mac in two bites. But um, this that was that was on my resume when I started. This date has been designed to make me vomit. <laughs> what are you talking about? We were high schoolers and our metabolism was like a hummingbird. So we just like, hey, let's go to McDonald's, go you know, get some food. And um, I would just, we'd have dares with each other. And I said, bet you can't but eat it in three bites. I said, bet I can do it in two. And I went, har, har, and I won.